On this final installment of the menu video, we're going to finalize the sub menu part of the program. So, uh, one good practice, by the way, is we could somehow comment the end of switch just to avoid confusion later on. The other one is the end of while. So we could come up with another while loop to take care of the sub menu. But I think we have to choose another choice variable just to avoid conflict. So sub choice one. So this sub menu uh, choice one will be initialized to zero as well and then come up with a while loop while sub choice one is not equals to three assuming that your exit variable is also three then we could come up with the sub menu To keep it simple, we could copy paste the main menu. So this is my sub menu. Should change the font size, or we could move. This will be now the could be the problem one, something like that. Uh, problem two and the three four exit. So the the prompt. Let's make it a bit different. Like this could be three greater than symbol representing the sub menu. And then instead of switch, we might try if else this time around. This also helps in avoiding confusion with the sub menu variable so if sub menu or sub choice is equals to one then let's put string problem one was chosen Else if sub choice two is equals to two, so we have to put string sub problem problem two was chosen. else invalid so somehow the else will represent the 
default case where we simply put string invalid input but mm, in this case we have another choice whether we will come back to the main menu so if we try to exit else if the choice was exit is 3 then exit was chosen when we exit the sub menu we will go directly to the main menu so let's just erase the numbers and let's try this out if it works we'll save okay so let's compile and run so one sub menu one um, didn't get the desired output so we could try to debug so when it entered the while loop the sub choice was zero ah we did not ask for the sub choice so print f the idea is we could scan f here and person d let's just ask for the sub choice one And after asking a sub choice one we could choose hopefully that works okay so let's choose one so after choosing sub menu one so we are now in the sub menu one so problem one problem two and exit so we could choose one problem 1 was chosen we could choose 2 problem 2 was chosen we could choose any invalid value like 5 invalid input we could try to exit so 3 and then we are back to the main menu so I should let's just make this main menu could have exit to main menu. and problem one was chosen invalid input so we could repeat the same menu for the others like uh, for the next case then again we have to change the variable although there are different cases but their variables could result in a conflict so this should be 2 and case 2 put string sub menu uh, let's just make this sub menu 2 and the previous one sub menu 1 so sub menu 2 problem 1 problem 2 exit to main menu d sub choice should be 2 uh, 
corresponding to what we have declared in the if else submenu 2 and 2 finally 2 and that's it um, we have now completed the program with submenu so let's compile it once more save it first and then try to run it so we have already tested the submin 1 so let's now test submin 2 so submin 2 appeared let's choose 1 ok problem 1 was chosen let's press 2 problem 2 was chosen let's print any invalid value I don't know in 90 invalid input let's try to exit now to main menu and that's it and finally exit exit was chosen and now we're back to the outside of the program that's it